Greetings everybody, your comedy games online. Welcome back to more Persona 5. Last time we ended up heading back to the real world after maxing out our strength confidant. And in this episode, we are going to read a specific book. This one. Speed reading. Make sure you close up. This is one book you are going to want to read especially. Do not look at the parts, but at the whole. Mm. It's an old book, but it says that the fundamentals of speed reading down. Oh. Finish reading speed reading. So now, right. our reading speed's improved. You can read it double the speed. <sighs> Just be good because any day that we're not hanging out with confidants tonight. Uh, during the night time, is probably going to be spent reading. Hiya! Hey, on. It's already the twelfth. We have about a week until the investigation. Can we make it so we can send the calling card? Let's go to the palace today. We'll think about it, on. Don't jump the gun. Mm. I want to be arrested for a false accusation. I want to find the real culprit after all. And we will. By the way, do you like hearing your own voice? Have you ever heard of recording a recording of your own voice? Were you surprised? That's because when you hear your voice normally, you hear it through your bones. The voice you hear in a recording that makes you feel uncomfortable is unmistakably your own voice. It's a pain lets players know all too often. Has hearing someone's voice over the phone ever felt strange to you? Do you know the answer? Do you know why hearing someone's voice over the phone sounds different from than their real voice? That's because it's heavily processed. Well done. It's correct. It's practically not even their voice anymore. To transmit data, cell phones use a certain way of encoding your voice into digital information. And when your phone has to use that data to reassemble a voice, it can only do so much. No way. Oh, you knew it. Nice going. It'll be good to know for whenever the next uh, test comes up. Oh, I think you'd be able to tell if you were hearing a computer talking. As long as the tone and intonation match, the listener's brain fills in any other differences. Most of our communication is based on assumptions. I see. My voice just sounds like meows to people who don't know me. Jeez, assumptions are dangerous. They are quite dangerous. Alright. Hey. Only eight days left. So if you have not done so already, first go ahead here, because I'm pretty sure there's one more book we gotta get. Never mind. So what we wanna do. Central to uh, Station Square, but we have to head to uh, Central Street anyway. If you have not already done so, welcome. If you want to buy any books you have not already bought? So that's about all the books that we uh, that we can. But there's apparently also a book storage shoot that I don't think we've ever gone to to buy books for. Yeah, there is. Right over here. And enter the frickin' place. Hey! Garbia, Cinema Treasures. And those are books that we will be reading down the road. And from here on out, because 
we don't really need to read books anymore. I'm just gonna be skipping the book events straight up. Because it's gonna be the same thing again and again, basically. So I'm just gonna save myself that trouble. Alright then. Hi there, Shinya. Hey! Your mother should have had a change of heart by now. Oh, after no. our adventures in Mementos. They really did it. The Phantom Thieves did it. <laughs> my mom really did have a change of heart. When I got home, my mom cooked dinner. She made my favorite hamburger steak. Then she admitted that she was wrong and apologized to me for getting so mad about everything. She broke down crying and told me that she'll be a better mother from now on. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. It's all thanks to the Phantom Thieves. And you, Karusa-san. Actually... I guess winning and losing doesn't matter when it comes to just being happy. Well, isn't it true? The reason my mom was able to change is that she lost to the Phantom Thieves. Losing wasn't the end of it all. It brought my real mom back. Man, I'm so happy right now. Am I weird? For feeling happy about losing? I mean, all I cared about before was winning. I guess you could say it means you've matured. You've moved past that. Huh? Really? Well, you might be right. Looking back at how obsessed I was with winning, I can see I was just acting like a kid. I want to get stronger. Strong enough so that I can protect my mom. I realized something from you and the Faints and Thieves. Instead of destroying others, protecting and saving people is what makes a person strong. You listened to my problems, and even confronted my mom for me. I, I guess that was pretty cool of you. We do what we can to help people. All right. Especially in their time of need. I've done this so many times now. By the way, do you remember Takakuma, the pro who beat me? I heard more rumors that he uses illegal armor. I wonder why he's cheating. It's because he wants to win at all costs to keep that reputation of his. Uh huh. Yeah, I kind of understand how he feels. I might have cheated too if I had known how. <laughs> but I don't feel like that at all anymore. Okay, I'm gonna head home. Hey, Karusu-san. Are the Phantom Thieves... Never mind. Bye. Pointless kindness. Alright. Later. Later, Shinya. And now it's night time. Ah, you're back. Night time is fun time. Let's head to Akihabara again. Because we want to spend some time with Mishima. Hey. The Phantom Thieves were supposed to be the embodiment of justice. How did it come to this? Oh yeah. No, there's no point sitting around complaining about it now. I'm sure you'll be able to turn the tide if you just keep changing the hearts of horrible criminals. Oh, and I'll do whatever I can to help you guys out. So you did the request I asked you to do? Of course we did. Oh, Kurisu, I was hoping we could talk about Akiyama-kun today. Are you free right now? We are free. <laughs> like a bird. Or as a bird, that's how the lyrics go. It'll probably surprise you, but we could talk some more over there. <sighs> so you remember those guys who beat Akiyama Kuna? Well, it turns out they really were dangerous. I looked them up and found some seriously scary info. Apparently, they're part of a gang that's involved in extortion stuff like that all the time. I wish I had known that going in. One slip of the tongue in that act I pulled, and I would have been dead. 
Definitely took some real courage to stand up to them, though. Even if you peed your pants a bit. Hmm? <laughs> you even mentioned that, too. You really think so? But I pissed all over myself again while I was researching those guys. Honestly, though, you're amazing. You weren't afraid in the slightest. Maybe it's only natural after all the nightmares you've been through. Yo, Mishima. Hey. Hi there. Whoa, it really is Mishima. Dude, right? Nobody else could be this boring. No snappy comeback, Akiyama? Hey, you figured out what you're gonna do after high school? It's just... Um, not yet. How about the military? Nobody ever noticed Zero like you stealthing around. <laughs> so true. I bet you could sneak in anywhere, huh? You'd be Japan's ultimate weapon. Shut up. Akiyama-kun. Huh? Something wrong? Eh, uh, not exactly. Come on, let's just forget him. He's no fun- It's not fun messing with Mishima anymore. What do you mean, no fun? You're always the one screwing with him the most. I don't know, I guess I got tired of it. Hey, about before. I've been thinking, well, I should probably thank you. Huh? Something happened with you two? You know, you have been acting weird lately, Akiyama. Don't think I've noticed all them bruises you got? I... No, no. Um, before? I don't really know what you're talking about. Mishima. Might get bad. Guess it was someone else. You've changed, though. Hmm? Yo, glasses. I always see you two coming together. You been coaching him? Something like that. A lot of them was... A lot of his actions were of his own volition, though. That's so? I'm kind of jealous. Anyways, see you later. Wait up, Akiyama. <laughs> Looks like akiyama is gonna be just fine. He's a pretty strong-willed guy. And... I really have changed, huh? Do you think maybe now I'm starting to be like the fans of the thieves? Alright! I'm gonna work even harder to make sure I live up to your legacy. One more rank, and that's another All one right. off the list. For confidants. Um... You know... I always used to think I couldn't amount to anything, but I somehow managed to step up and help Akiyama kun with those thugs. It made me realize, there really are things I can do to save people. That's why I started writing a documentary on the Phantom Thieves. The research I did on that gang Akiyama kun was wrapped up in was actually what pushed me to do it. And now I'm basically putting together a massive log of all your activities from the fan site. Wait to see the outcome. <laughs> That's some serious pressure, but I'll show you what I can do. I mean, I won a composition contest back in fifth grade, so this shouldn't be any more difficult, right? Alright. At any rate, we should celebrate today. My treat. Screw the fountain drinks. Let's go straight for the fancy fruit juice. It's three times the price, so it's gotta be three times the better. But I only have so much money. If you want to order anything else, it'll have to come out of your own pocket, okay? Anyway, let's party until we have to go catch the last train. <laughs> See you later. Woo. See you, Mishima. And who is the uh, person of the hour? Haru, would you like to go see a movie tomorrow? I would love to see a movie, but I've got something else planned for tomorrow.
Today. Oh boy, today. Only one week remaining. Yeah, that's how much time we have we got to nab that treasure. There's that, but it's also how much longer we'll get to stay as the Phantom Thieves. Yeah. Now you mention that, it is quite an odd feeling. I've been trying to avoid thinking about that until the time actually comes. Did you remember Akira? Let's just do our best. Take our minds off that. That's not really an answer to my question, but it's good motivation. Well, I guess all we can do now is do this shit like we always do. Yeah, for Makoto's sister. Thank you, everyone. Wouldn't have it any other way. So, okay. the plan. The plan. That's everyone. We're heading in to the palace. Okay, let's go. Here we are. Right, let's begin. <laughs> I look forward to this. Next time on Persona 5. It's time to start exploring Sai's palace. Took us some time, but here we are now. See you guys then.